In an old quarry in Scotland, the space race has a new contender. This is an engine test for the Skyrora rocket, due to launch from the Shetlands next year. So we're on the main factory floor. For now, it's a kit of parts, but mission success could put the first satellite in orbit from British soil and to increase the odds they're testing components to destruction, then rebuilding them stronger. Quite a big bang came off of it. As you can see, uh, the split propagates quite far down, uh, so it was there where it folded in half during the testing. The more incremental steps we can take here, the safer XL will be for the first launch. Reaching space is hard. Virgin Orbit tried but failed from Cornwall in January, the rocket doomed by a dislodged fuel filter. Sky Rora's boss is realistic about his rocket's chances. We will have this exact number of probability of success and then usually in a range of 60%. That's a 40% chance of failure. We will do everything possible to increase the number of uh, the probability of the success, but we also need to be uh, let's say accept the fact that is the first launch and the rocket science and the failure is possible. Britain has done it before from Australia. In the 1970s, Black Arrow took a satellite to orbit, but it was a one-off. Now the industry is reborn, driven by a new boom in satellites. By 2030, it's expected there'll be 100,000 satellites in orbit. The UK wants to launch 2,000 of them, and that will need a lot of rockets. It's a market worth billions of pounds. We're not kind of competing with heavy launches like SpaceX, but actually there is demand worldwide for smaller, more responsive launches into space, taking a number of small satellites, recognising that whereas some of them in the past have been the size of a small car, today they're the size of a shoebox. Skyrora aims to launch once a month, a rocket booster for the UK's space industry. Thomas Moore, Sky News, in Cumbernauld.